What's going on guys, it's Swimzy here and today I have for you another Warframe video. Now in this video we're going to be having a look at the Incarnon Strun and I'm just going to show you a couple of builds. I'm going to show you what choices I chose at Cavalero and we're just going to test it out in the Simulacrum. Have some fun against level 195 enemies. If you did enjoy this video, please like, share and subscribe and let's get into the build. Alright, so this is the Strun and this is the endgame setup. I will be testing this setup second. But for now, I'll just show you this first. So what we have is Contagious Spread for Toxin, Galvanized Savvy for Status Chance, and plus 40% direct damage per status type affecting the target. Hunter Munitions for 30% chance to apply a slash on critical hits. Frigid Blast for that cold and status. Galvanized Hell for multi-shot. Critical Deacceleration for crit chance negative fire rate. Primed Ravage for that critical damage. Primed Point Blank for that base damage and the Arcane is R5 Primary Merciless. On kill plus 30% damage for 4 seconds, stacks up to 12 times and you get reload speed. This reload speed is actually very good for the Strun because the Strun is a one pellet reload. So having a lot of reload speed will speed this weapon up and speed up its DPS. Okay, moving on to the standard build. We have Contagious Spread plus Toxin, Laser Sight, on Headshot, plus 120 critical chance when aiming, Frigid Blast for that cold and status, Hunt Munitions for the chance to proc slashes on crits, Hell's Chamber for multi-shot, Critical Deacceleration for crit chance and negative fire rate, Normal Ravage for crit damage, and Normal Point Blank for base damage, with the same Arcane. Now, if you don't have an Arcane, don't worry about it. Uh, this is for the standard new player friendly. I just put this on to increase its performance. So let's get into Cavalero. Alright, so we are at Cavalero and he evolved your Incarnon weapons. And let's see what choices I chose. So go down to the Strun. Before I do that, the Strun actually has two former, so it's a very, very efficient build for new players. Obviously, you can put more former on and alternate the build. It's up to you. But these are the choices. So. Evolution 1, you don't really need to worry about it. If you play a solo mission with this weapon equipped, you will gain the Incarnon form. Second Evolution, if you get 100 kills with the Incarnon form, then you will unlock this one. So you have two choices. You have Tenno Targeting, increase damage by plus 2, with Channeled Ability Active, plus 4 Punch Through. Or you can go with Blazing Barrel, increase damage by 2, and on firing, plus 5 multi shot stacks up to five times so you can get 25 percent extra multi-shot i chose this one because it's actually better and i don't use channeled abilities so yeah i chose blazing barrel moving on to evolution 3 we have a choice of swift deliverance plus 30 percent projectile speed galvanic reload on hitting a target with electricity status 40 percent chance to restore one round in the magazine from ammo pool this could be useful, but then again, no one really runs just base electricity, and it doesn't give you a free shot. It actually takes it from your overall ammo maximum. So yeah, that doesn't really help. I chose Rapid Reinforcement, plus 60% reload speed. So this weapon, as I said before, reloads one pellet at a time. So this Rapid Reinforcement or Swift Deliverance would be your best bet for this choice. If you want the projectile speed to bump up the DPS, go ahead and choose that but I decided to go with reload speed just so the weapon has more balance and the final evolution you have a choice between elemental balance increased status chance by 11.3% Commodore's fortune increased critical chance by 12% or 
or Brutal Edge, increase crit and status chance by 4. I want to go with a crit based for this weapon, so I chose Commodore's Fortune, but honestly you could go with either one of these. And yeah, let's go into the Simulacrum. Alright, so we're in this Simulacrum, and I'm going to be using Harrow, because none of his abilities actually affect the weapon's performance. And I'm going to switch the builds. So I'm going to show you the standard build first. Here is the standard if you need time to actually apply those mods. Here's the time now. But we're actually going to test against level 195 Corrupted Bombard Eximus. There's no point showing you against heavy gunners because this weapon is... Well, yeah. Two shots. Even one shot. And this is base form, no Mirage abilities. As you can see, that reload speed is critical. Activate the Incarnon. And yeah. Red crits for days. This weapon is very strong, so I would highly recommend it. Alright, now I will actually use Mirage. And actually, before I go on and continue, this is my Mirage build. Now, I did Helminth Oberon Smite onto this Mirage, and I also have the Smite Infusion Augment. Holding this ability will cast and ground allies within 15 meters an additional 100% radiation damage to their attacks. So we will be stacking Viral and Radiation against these enemies. And yeah, these guys will not stand a chance. Activate all abilities, standard form. Depends if you hit him in the head. If you hit him in the head, instant one shot. Body, no one shot. So yeah, you want to be aiming for the head. Activating the Incarn on charge. There we go. This standard build is actually way too good. Alright, moving on to the end game setup, the one you have all been waiting to see. And this end game setup is probably one of my best builds I've ever created. It just completely shreds them. So, no abilities. All you need to do, pretty much two shots. One shot if you're lucky. There we go. That slash damage with Hunter Munitions. That is cracked. Look at that. That's amazing. Moving on to the Incarnon. As you can see, more orange crits than yellow, which is good to see. Yeah, isn't that good, man? That's just way too good. Now I'm going to move on to using all of my abilities. This is the base form. One-shotting, as always. And then activate the Incarnon. Two shots. One shot. There we go. So, guys, that has been the Incarnon Strun. I hope you all have enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe, as everything helps me out. And I also have a new official Instagram. It is at swimsy.yt. And I also stream on Twitch. I actually did a three-hour live stream back after a month. So, yeah, that was a very good live stream. If you could follow me over there, it'd be greatly appreciated. And, yeah, it's been Swim, guys. Later. Oh, 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 oh,